Today we're going to do a quick walkthrough of the web interface of Freeflow Core. Um, there's four main tabs up on the top. Job management and status, printer management and status, workflow setup and administration. Underneath this first tab, you'll see there's a little drop down for submitting jobs through the web browser. When we click here, we can add the document that we want to have processed. We can select our workflow destination or we can override the job ticket set settings as well. We can set up things like quantities, page exceptions, inserts, or we can do the finishing on the actual printer itself. And then down on these sub tabs, you can see active jobs, held jobs, completed canceled jobs, all jobs, or my jobs. In this case, I'm looking at only the jobs that I've submitted down into Freeflow Core. And when we select these, there's more information about the job properties on the right-hand side, the original document, a pre-flight report, and a lot of other metadata down below. You can also do things like printing to a very specific printer that we have available to us. Uh, we could resubmit jobs to a different workflow if we wanted to. In this case, it was a pre-flight. We could also resubmit down to a books workflow if this was a book and we wanted to have it in post. On the printer management and status window, you can see all of the printers that are available to me on my Freeflow Core system. Um, on the right-hand side, we can see the workflow printer destination. We can add a new destination here or we can edit the one that exists. Inside of this window, you can see different ways to submit down to this printer. Maybe it's using LPR. Um, you can give it a, a name for the queue um, and also define job ticket defaults if we wanted to. We can review the printer status and consumables on this page as well. So you can see all the trays and how much paper is available in each one, uh, as well as the ink status uh, and the output trays. We go to workflow status up on the top here. It's pretty easy to understand. So down on the bottom, you can see all of my current workflows. So I have workflows started here. We can add a new workflow if we want to. So just add a new one here. And then over on the left-hand side are the components. When we click on, on a component, you can see there's some presets available to us. If we have a pre-flight, like a basic pre-flight that we just want to use, we can just click and drag that onto the screen. Uh, we can optimize jobs the same way by just clicking and dragging, or maybe we want to impose a job as a booklet. And then you can save that job and it would be available to us within our workflows. When you go to the administration tab, this controls a lot of different things, um, starting with hot folders. There's a lot of different ways to submit down into Freeflow Core. Maybe that's JDF, JMF, uh, could be hot folders or through the web browser. Could even be a CSV file. You can set up notifications um, or user access. So when we click on the user access here, we can just add a new user. And we can set up the passwords, um, their access level as an administrator or an operator. And then we can decide which workflows are available to them. Maybe it's a CSR and we don't want them to have all of the available workflows. Uh, maybe we just want them to have the pre-flight option. So we can just tell them only pre-flighting is available to them. Up in the upper right-hand corner, uh, you can edit your own profile, maybe change your passwords, or maybe add an email address for notifications. There's an area where you can access the user forum for Freeflow Core. This is a great way to get information about what other users um, are doing within Freeflow Core. Good ideas for workflows. Um, if you're running into any troubles, it's a great way to just look up and see if someone's ever had the same problem. So if we look up, for instance, barcodes, um, you'll see there's a lot of users that have had questions or solutions to barcode issues. In the far right hand corner of the question mark, you can go to the help menu and you can look at all the documentation of Freeflow Core. You could look at the licensing that you have available on your machine specifically. Uh, if we jump into this, uh, you can see all the documentation available to us. Uh, you can look at different job properties, or maybe we want to look at additional variables that can be used within Freeflow Core. Those are all available here. That was a quick walkthrough of just the navigation of Freeflow Core. If we have any questions, just reach out to your salesperson or the Freeflow Core team.